Hi guys, my name is Amy Jabel. I'm your Norwex Independent Consultant. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks again for stopping by the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between the Norwex kitchen cloth and the Norwex counter cloths, and when you might wanna use either one. So in another video, I talked about the difference between the Enviro cloth and the kitchen cloth. I'll post a link to that video above. And before we get started, I will show you the difference in size. So the gray cloth in the back, that's my Enviro cloth. This nice sea mist is my kitchen cloth, and then this is a counter cloth. So let's get that Enviro cloth out of the way. This is our heavy duty cloth, and I don't use this in my kitchen, believe it or not. What I use in the kitchen is a combination of these cloths. So how, let's talk about how they're similar. So number one, we want to care for them the same. So when we care for our cloths, we rinse them daily, wash them weekly. We wanna wash them with a filler-free laundry detergent, and um, they also have the backlock technology, just like our Enviro cloth. And when a cloth has the backlock technology, which is micro silver, the micro silver is embedded in the cloth. And as long as the cloth is intact, the micro silver will be in the cloth. So when a cloth at Norwex has the micro silver, it means that it will not only pick up your food, your grease, your grime, your junk on your counters, your germs, it will pick up 99% of bacteria when used properly. So these work great in the kitchen compared to my Enviro cloth because of the weave. So the weave of these is a looser weave and the weave is great for picking up food particles, wet food, food on the table, counters, you know, after you cook on the stove. And the weave is so nice and loose and it also has this nice channel here that it rinses out very easily. And so when you use this, another similarity is that you use it with water only, which means neither one of these two cloths would be good for doing your dishes. You don't wanna use soap with these cloths because they have the backlock. We do have other options for you know doing your dishes with Norwex and they're great options, but you definitely wanna use these with water only. And we wanna use soap when we're washing our dishes because that soap's gonna help break through any grease and any caked on, you know, hardening of, you know, anything we might have in our pots and pans or our plates. And we do have great options for that, which I will cover in another video, but these would not be an option that I use for dishes. So the kitchen cloth would be for my bigger jobs, my big table, you know, the kitchen counter, the uh, inside the refrigerator if there's a spill. This cloth alone will pick up quickly a half a cup of liquid. So I love that because I have some messy boys and they're always spilling things and I love just being able to grab this and you know sopping up any spills super fast. Okay, now let's talk about our counter cloth a little bit. You can get the counter cloths either in a pack of three. So you can get them in a pack of three and they do come in a lot of different colors depending on your decor or you can get this nice little counter cloth box and the counter cloth box will actually hold 12 cloths. It does come with six, but you can get a total of 12, which is awesome because if you're like me, we had a horrible, horrible paper towel habit in my house. So I haven't bought paper towels in months. And what I did to convert my family is I moved this counter cloth box to where we had our paper towels on the counter in the past. And since the counter cloth is smaller, and a lot of people like this smaller cloth, it's also a kind of a popcorn weave and it's highly absorbent. Um, it is a great option to using a paper towel for quick spills, smaller spills. We even use this for napkins um, just because it's easier and more convenient and everyone's used to grabbing these now compared to grabbing paper towels like we used to in the past. So I've been able to save by not buying the paper towels and not buying the single use napkins, which has been huge in my house. Now, after you use this, it's easy to just rinse it out under the faucet with some warm water, give it a little scrub and anything that you've collected will quickly rinse out and then hang it to dry and all of our cloths have a nice little hang tag, 
but I personally like drying my counter cloths right over the box. Now, while our cloths are drying, that is when our back lock is gonna go to work and it's going to penetrate the cell wall of any of that bacteria we've collected. It will destroy it and go through that self purification process. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Oh, one more tip. I love spinach and I mainly love it because I try to have a protein shake every day. So I buy these huge bags of spinach and sometimes salad, but there's times when I forget that I have so much or I'll buy two bags accidentally or something like that. One of the things that I love, love doing with my counter cloths is I will put one of these in the bag or the container of spinach and it will help prolong my vegetable because it is absorbing the hot. This is extremely absorbent and it will absorb the moisture in the container so, or the spinach bag, and it helps prolong the life of my spinach. So if I skip the shake a couple days, I can count on these to kind of help me pull through an extra few days. So these are awesome. You know, you can use them for a number, stick them in a lunchbox, your husband's lunchbox, something like that. Just definitely work awesome. And since you can fill them up with 12, fill this little box up with 12, um, you, you know, will not really need to, ever worry about running out because you'll have so many. So I hope you guys have a great day. And if you have any questions, comment below. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye guys.